I love that I'm still wearing Christmas masks. They fit me the best out of all my masks. My Christmas ones fit me so well. <laughs> I didn't have the best evening. I made a list. I didn't actually, I did most things on my list. Pretty much the only thing I didn't do was pack my lunch bag, which I still might do before I actually go to sleep because my lunch is basically ready. I just have to put it in my lunch bag. Um, and then I didn't do my workout because my stupid hip thing is extra sore today. I have my appointment in a week, a week and a day, and I don't remember what time it's at. So I booked the whole day off. Uh, but yeah, I didn't do my workout because my hip was too sore. It's quite sore right now. I might grab some ice and put some ice on it and try and read. I read a comic find up yesterday that I got at the bookstore. I read the backstagers. So I read half of Fangirl. I could have read the whole thing, but I was also on TikTok and talking to my friend. Um, but I read half and it is so precious. It's so good. It's great. So I'm excited about that. And I will read the second half tomorrow. Um, I got a tattoo. <laughs> it's not real. Um, I got it from work. My supervisor gave it to me for being super amazing at work today. I did such a good job with things. And so she gave me a choice between this banana tattoo or a different tattoo, but banana skateboarding. <laughs> I was like, I want this one. This is cool. Uh, anyway, I'm in love with it. This is actually where I want to get my next tattoo. I feel like I want it definitely bigger than this. Otherwise, you're not really going to be able to tell what it's of because I know what I want it to be of and it's got like some detail in it. But that's where I want it, basically, my next one. So that whenever I'm doing this, you can see it. Anyway, I'm in love with it. I hope it lasts at least three days, but it probably won't. I actually ordered new workout shoes to try and do. Um, oh my god. Yes, I want a real tattoo there so badly. <laughs> anyway, uh, I ordered new workout shoes because I need new workout shoes, but I haven't been working out properly since like fucking October because of my stupid weird hip thing um but I thought maybe I could do some cardio workouts and just do only the moves that I can do and still kind of have fun and work up a bit of a sweat like I'm I can jump and I think I could probably like do running on the spot type things and just like I don't know I don't know what kind of moves I can't do but I wanted to try and just do whatever I can do because I'm getting sick of not working out. I'm still doing my upper body workout, but it's not the same. Also, I didn't realize this earlier because um, my camera, like my screen is mirror image while I'm recording. Um, but it's backwards. <laughs> and I thought it was backwards when I was looking at it. I was like, it says cool and I can read it. Shouldn't it be backwards so that when I put it on my skin, I, it's forwards and I made a little TikTok video of me putting it on and again I was looking at it in the mirror image of my phone not thinking and I was like oh it is forwards okay no it's fucking backwards <laughs> uh, my tattoo is already coming off and you can't really tell that it says cool backwards it just looks like a fading banana so sure that's fine but now I'm sad also, even though it was backwards. I wanted it to last longer than 10 hours. <laughs> I got a puzzle today. Look at how pretty it is. Also, I made this for my friend Lisa so I could show it to her on Marco Polo. Um, because Marco Polo is mirror imaged. And I wrote this so that she could see it. It's pretty good. <laughs> it says, hello, lovely Lisa, in case you can't read backwards. And there's a heart. And the two exclamation points have turned into a happy, sticky, tonguey, yoni face. It's Friday! Hooray! And I only have to work until 4 today. I'm excited. I only have to work till 4 next Friday, too. The door's locked. Maybe I should just go home. Obviously, they don't want me here. Justin came and let me in. Damn that, Justin. <laughs> what, Gherkin? What would you like? What's going on? He's so needy. Um, I got my workout shoes. Gherkin. They're so pretty. They're a little snug. Um, but 
someone's review on the website said that they will loosen up. They were like, they they form to your feet, so if they feel too tight at first, they won't feel tight after a little while. So I'm gonna take that as correct and just keep them. Because they're not so snug that they're uncomfortable. I just feel like a half size up would maybe be a little bit better. So I'm I'm hoping that they'll, they'll just work out fine. Because, also because I had to pay for shipping, so I don't want to have to get new ones and pay for shipping again. <laughs> Gherkin. Anyway, I'm gonna wash dishes and then I'm going to attempt a workout of some kind. Also, Shadow and Bone trailer came out today. That looks super good. It looks great. I'm super excited. Anyway, I'm hungry. I'm gonna make pea meal bacon sliders for supper. Oh my god, making these was such an excellent idea. I'm- I have such excellent ideas. <laughs> oh, apparently my region's going back into lockdown on Monday. This is ridiculous. Like, we shouldn't have reopened. Oh, oh my god. Anyway, I'm okay with that. Hooray curbside pickup again. Woo woo! This happens every single time. It's not a real lockdown. Retail stores are still open. <laughs> it's just like hairdressers and uh, tattoo shops and restaurants, eating restaurants that are closed. And, you know, stay at home. Fuck. <laughs> I just did a T25 workout. I just didn't do all the moves. I did most of them, though. And sometimes I did the moves forgetting that they were going to hurt and then they were hurting and I was like, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it already feels a little sore, but no more sore than it would if I went for like a five kilometer walk. So it was worth it. <laughs> Why is it so like magical looking? Like the lights are so like glimmery. Is there like grease on my phone? Oh, I just made that worse. <laughs> so the answer is probably yes. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's better. Hi. How is it better? It's less magical now. Oh, <laughs> that's true. We're painting phone cases. Eventually. Yeah, we're getting the old paint off so that we can put new paint on. Step one, complete. Hooray! Oh, this is so fun. Turn it, can you make it louder? <laughs> I was just trying to make it so you guys so... Stop or will you splash me? Will we become nothing more than... Should I put on a different sweater? If you don't want to get paint on it, probably. I don't have a sweater to put on. Um, the shirt that I'm wearing underneath is like too small and I would never wear it like... I'm I, sorry, I can give you oh. one of Jason's old shirts or something. I wouldn't, I wouldn't wear this like... On its own, anyway. On its own anyway, so. Okay, what do I do? So. Well, I tripped, I fell down naked. I fucked that up. I mean, you! <laughs> there is no score. But he is truly scaring me. I'm gonna do it. I'm. It's gonna be bad. Your false intentions have worn thin. But we've been in your room and in your closet too. We've got one on you. Dead lies to your death and lies. We mostly just do it in the middle. Yeah, and just pour it slowly. Like, yeah, I would do most of it in the middle, and then you want to just keep pouring continuously. You're good. Yeah, now you can worry about getting some on the edges if you want, but... Ooh, it's really pretty. That's half the magic. Oh 
my god, I love it. Even after I'm dead and buried. Go over here again. <sighs> cool. In time before she struts her stuff, she needs support and I become the crush. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with me. There's nothing, nothing wrong with me at all. <laughs> This is normal, what's happening right yeah, now. Yeah, this happens all the time. <laughs> yep. That right there is a mess. It's pretty mess, though. It is. <laughs> well, it's less pretty it's, now. Yeah, it's kind of turning brownish now at this point. Now it's kind of like mud. I just realized I've hardly eaten anything all day long, so I need to make some supper. And I think I'm going to make some mac and cheese from Epicure. Let's see how that goes. I have some right here. So... I think what I'm going to do is move so that this light is not like coming out of my face. What I think I'm going to do, because I am trying really hard to get back into eating healthy, I stress ate pretty much all of 2020, like from March until January, <laughs> I was stress eating a lot. And I did gain some weight back, and I definitely do not have the body that I had last year, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that, but I want to be back where I was before. I don't want to continue to gain weight and not fit into my clothes anymore. I want to feel good physically and mentally. Being healthy does make, my, does make me feel better mentally, and also being in shape makes me feel better physically like physically I'm more comfortable in my body like I can't feel the fat <laughs> around my pants and moving when like it's more comfortable and uh, I'm also just happier in my own skin the way I was at the beginning of 2020 2020 was really really hard obviously for obvious reasons so there was a lot of stress eating there was a lot of chocolate um, and then towards the end of the year, there was also a lot of fast food. And I started lockdown, the very beginning of 2021, on a new journey to be healthy again. And then that was completely ruined by everything that happened uh, in my life uh, during the second week of lockdown. So I am going to try and log my workouts and my nutrition in these videos to try and help keep myself accountable and maybe to help people who are also trying to eat healthy. Maybe it will give them inspiration, ideas, um, someone basically to keep themselves accountable. We can keep each other accountable. I don't know what else. I don't have anything else to vlog anyway since I still can't do anything except hang out with Laura <laughs> so I think I'm still gonna be calling them like COVID vlogs basically um I feel like this is a really good thing to have for me at least because I am like a big looking back on memories person so I think it's cool to have this playlist of videos chronic chron chronicling the whole COVID everything. So anyway, I just felt like saying that, that I'm going to talk about my attempt to eat healthy and go back to the way I was. Working out is going to be a little difficult because I still have an issue in my hip area. I did a workout on Friday. It made me feel really good mentally. It did not make me feel good physically. Uh, it has been sore all weekend, but I'm going to try doing a workout, um, five days a week with my friend Rhonda. We're going to do T25, which is basically the workout that I always start off with when I try getting back into shape. It just seems to be the best beginner intense workout to me. Gherkin, I'm just going to make sure that I don't do moves that hurt. Some of the, even the modified moves I'm probably not going to be able to do, but I'm still going to try and keep moving for the whole 25 minutes. So if there's a move that I can't do, I'm going to do something. I got a boogie board. I got one of the clearance ones that was cheaper. 
it's a kid's one to write my lists on I think they're really fun to write on I really like how it feels like it's very smooth um, and so it makes me want to write on them so I write my lists instead of doing it on my phone and then it helps me to actually do what I want to do that day helps me feel productive helps keep me not feeling poopy so I will see you tomorrow and I guess in the morning I'll show you what I have for lunch I've already packed it. So anyway, yes.